Welcome back Twin Tears on your Tuesday morning. I'm here with your meteorologist Catherine Schwamm tracking that uh, quite the grab a pumpkin iced coffee on the go yeah. weather because it is really chilly right now. You might not want to make Maybe it not ice, ice though. You yeah. might want it hot because yeah. I know I'm that one person once it starts dipping into the 50s and 40s I'm like I'll have a hot coffee in the morning or a hot tea you know any of that but when it gets into the 60s and 70s, I'm more of the iced coffee yeah. person. <laughs> Great day, though, to enjoy all the pumpkin spice, all, everything nice, you know, all of that jazz that you want in the morning because it's a bit of a chilly start out there. At least it's a dry start, though, as you can see from our Corning Sky Cam. We're not tracking any rain showers this morning, just some cloudy skies to start off the day and temperatures that are starting off in the 50s this morning. But as you are heading out the door, you don't really need the umbrella just yet. I'm saying yet because we are going to be tracking some showers returning by the middle parts of today. But don't worry, not everyone's going to see them and most should remain on the dry side. Let's take a look at temperatures though this morning. 52 right now in Wallsboro, Pennsylvania. We have 50 in Morris, 53 in Watkins Glen and the warmest right now 57 in Elmira. So a bit chillier than we have been seeing the last couple of mornings and temperatures are going to remain on that fall like trend in the low to mid 60s by the end of today. You'll also notice some breezy conditions out of the northwest supplying us with this cool down. We're starting off the week with cloudy skies that chance for some showers and you'll see wind gusts upwards of about 20 miles per hour at times out of the northwest. So as you're stepping outside, especially into the middle parts of today. Hold on to your hats because we are going to see these breezy conditions not only today, but continuing into tomorrow. And that's due to two systems pretty close together and it causes these equal lines of pressure to tighten up and that's signifying we are going to see some windy conditions coming out of it. Now this is due to that system that has been bringing us the rain ever since last week. It's still off the northeast coast. So it's still just sitting there and it's going to slowly exit. It's just taking its time as it does so. So we are still seeing a bit of moisture left over our area and the possibility of some isolated showers going into today. However, there's some good news because high pressure is building over the Midwest and that will bring some drier air our way as we go into the later parts of the week. But as we do look ahead to your Wednesday, not only can we see breezy conditions and those cool temperatures once again, we also are tracking that chance for a few showers going into the day as well. But by the time we get to Thursday is when this high pressure system starts to just sit over us and this will bring that drier air our way going into the later parts of the week. And as it settles over us on Friday, get ready for the sunshine to return to the twin tiers and lots of dry weather in the upcoming future. Not only that, we also are going to track some temperatures on the rise. So I've been saying this all morning. We're starting off with those fall like feels going into the middle parts of this week. After that, temperatures climb through the 70s. We're turning back to the mid 80s starting off this upcoming weekend for today though we're not anywhere near 80 we're going to be at 64 with some isolated showers some cool and breezy conditions are expected on your Tuesday similar conditions on your Wednesday are expected variable cloud cover ends up the week we're climbing through the 70s into the 80s and the variable cloud cover continues into next week along with some dry conditions